Hello YouTube, plain simple. This video is going to be a quick one and it's only going to show, it's only for the purpose of showing three different types of uh, compressors when it comes to jet engines. Uh, this is a particular case that is kind of interesting, kind of cool looking but old technology, outdated, not used very much anymore. This is, you're still looking at a pure jet uh, jet engine in the sense that you have intake intake compression combustion exhaust the particular thing about this engine is that the compressor is a single stage dual sided centrifugal compressor it is a single stage in the sense that it has only one uh, compressor wheel it's dual sided because the air comes in from two sides. It comes in through here and it comes in through here. Of course all the way around the engine. So you have air going in through here and through here all the way around the engine. The air comes in to the center of the compressor wheel. This is spinning in that direction so the air gets flung outward both from this side of the compressor wheel as well as from the back side the back side of the compressor wheel. The air again from both directions gets flung outward to the diffuser which changes direction of the airflow and it directs it to the combustor. This is where the fuel would be uh, added, ignited, and this is where the combustion happens right here. This is where the air gets heated and expanded and it's ran through the turbine, which is here, a single stage turbine in this case, and shot out the back of the engine. And again, just like all the other jet engines, the point of the turbine is to take some of the energy from the exhaust stream to power through that shaft to power the compressor. So this is a this is very old technology. But this is a particular case for that compressor in the sense that it has a single stage dual sided um, axial compressor. Now we're going to take a look at this other engine over here which has an axial compressor. This axial compressor intake is here, exhaust is on the far side. This compressor over here does not fling the air outward and then through the diffuser and out through the turbine, through the combustors and the turbine. This axial compressor moves the air and compresses the air in the direction of the rotational axis of the engine. So in this axis, the airflow is maintained in that direction and it's, it gets compressed in that direction. So this is not a centrifugal compressor that flings the air outward. This is an axial compressor which compresses the air in the same direction as the engine's axis of rotation. This is the same principle and very similar same type of compressor as the other engine from the very first video of this channel. Now, this engine is a very common, well-known engine. This is a Pratt & Whitney PT6, or it used to be the engine, now it's just an old cutaway display for educational purposes. The reason we're in this engine now is that this is the third type of compressor that I wanted to mention, and it is a combination of both axial compressor and centrifugal compressor. In the case of this engine, the intake, this, this is a reverse flow combustion chamber engine. This is mounted backwards to what a typical jet engine would be because the propulsion from this engine is not given by, is not produced by the exhaust. The engine drives a propeller and the propeller is the one that produces the thrust. Therefore, the, uh, it doesn't really matter in what orientation you mount this engine 
but anyways we're not this video is not for any of that it's mainly to look at the compressor which is what we're here to look at so we'll we'll look at that so right now we're looking at the back of the engine starting from here you have accessories compressor combustor turbine is inside of there right there and then ex exhaust out the side and to the back of the airplane but since we're here for the compressor we'll look at that um, I mentioned all that just so you would have an idea of where we're looking at in the engine and where stuff is. Uh, so the intake is here. Intake comes in from all the way around, all the way around the engine. Intake comes in and it goes through an axial compressor. Some of the veins and blades are missing. Um, but you can see some of them here. These are the compressor, the, the axial part of the compressor where you have rotor, the rotor with compre compressor blades in between compressor blades you have stator veins those are the ones that do the compressing the rotor the compressor blades impart energy on the air over here impart energy on the air and push it back the stator veins grab the air slow it down and compress it feed it onto the next stage so on and so forth just like the axial compressor that we looked at a minute ago this is the axial uh, axial part of this compressor it pre-compresses the air and it feeds it into the centrifugal part of the compressor which as you can see here changes the direction of the air from an axial flow axial direction and flings it outward and turns it and flings it outward in every direction around the engine this is a axial compressor feeding a centrifugal compressor so you have a combination of the two previous types of compressor that we looked at earlier uh, yeah, this is it this is the reason for the video is to look at the three compressors uh, three types of compressor which is Centrifugal, axial, and the combination of both in the case of the PT6. Uh, I hope you liked it. It was a quick video, and again, simple views into the inner workings of aircraft engines. Bye bye.